weather outside is frightful and the fire is so delightful and if we know a place to go let it snow let it snow let it snow be back 9 12. just exactly what the hell is you doing today don't you know that it is may it is not the middle of christmas season what is you doing well, we're going to celebrate Christmas in July, so I figured I need to let you know about it a little bit early. A little bit early, so if you decide you want to go out there and get this cigar when they come back in July, you can get it. Dumbarton Tobacco and Trust, still well. This is the holiday 2022. Hey, we're going to take these bells off because all these bells ringing and dinging ain't going to make it, but you get the idea. Hang on. Good afternoon, my cigar smoking family. It's your boy. Lee Mac 912, and I'm having another great day, family. Another great day I'm having, because I'm always having another great day. I'm trying to get my hat in the picture. And I'm trying to keep me in the picture at the same time. Shout out to my sponsor, Steve Saka, Dumbarton Tobacco and Trust. They're sponsors of the Lee Mac 912 channel. And shout out to all of my other patrons, all the patrons of the arts, my Cash App Avengers, uh, Matt Bailey, who ain't none of them. He's like, hey, look here, man, here's just a piece of money in your hand. Uh, shout out to everybody who supports the channel. Shout out to everybody who reached out and stepped up uh, since I did my announcement last week. And we're gonna move on and do what we do because today's another great day, family. We was dealing with some bull crap last week, this week, we ain't even sweating it. We're just going to keep it moving. So Steve Saka released this cigar, the Stillwell Star, the Holiday Blend 2022. This was the limited edition blend that was released for the holiday. Well, as luck would have it, there is going to be a limited release again this year in July. Small, limited, but it's going to be in July. So I figured I'd uh, better come on here let y'all see what it, tell y'all what I think about it. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. I ain't got my notes together. You see, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm like the, uh, the kid in school who doesn't have the answer or the one that's standing in front of Judge Judy and she asks a question and you go, uh, uh, she says either yes or no. What is the answer? I don't know. I didn't look it up. I didn't look it up yet. But still another great day. It's a beautiful day today. Still Well Star, Holiday 22. Let's see what we got here, baby. All right, Still Well Star came out, the blend, the blend in 2021, six by 52 Toros. Basically, he took a, a pipe tobacco, it's pipe tobacco, he took a cigar and then blended in with some different types of pipe tobaccos, and he had different blends with that. So the Y22, the limited edition, uh, uses a Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia tobaccos in the filler. The rest of the recipe calls for an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Mexican San Andres, Cultivo binder, binder, and Nicaraguan cigar tobaccos in the filler. So it's Nicaraguan filler, San Andres, binder, uh, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, as well as a dose of Cavendish Burley and Virginia tobaccos. Now I watched, uh, shout out to my brother Tim from Cigars Daily. I watched Steve on Tim's show and he talked about the Cavendish approach. And basically it's a way of, I'm not gonna call it flavoring tobaccos, but they have a tray that they put dark spice rum in and they heat it up and the steam from the rum rises up through the tobacco the uh alcohol evaporates but the flavor goes into the tobacco so that's what we got in here we've got a burley and kentucky that has been cavendished i had no idea you learn something new 
every single day. Shout out to all of my supporters. Shout out to everyone who is online and waiting for the cigar that'll be out this Saturday, this Saturday, the 29th of April, the Lee Mac 912. Another great day, Chicharroni, available at Provada Cigar Club. If you ever wanted to find out how to work the descriptions in these videos, now's the time for you to do it because I'm gonna put a direct link down below in the video. It's not going to be a live link until 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday, but at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, get your Twitter fingers ready, and you can go over there and get that Lee Mac 912. Another great day. Chicharrone. Uh, all right, so that's it. So we're gonna really sit back and we're gonna kick back. This is like the fifth in the uh, Stillwell Star uh, series of tobaccos. They only put out uh, 2,500 boxes of 13 cigars, 32,000 for this first one. I don't know how many will be put out in July. They all have a blue star. The uh, holiday edition one has got a white star on it. So there we go. I just got finished eating some crabs and had a piece of homemade pound cake. So I am full. I'm ready and I'm full. I want to do a V cut on this one. V cut. No, I'm not. Steve is not a V-cut type of dude. Sorry, Steve. I almost messed up your cigar with a V-cut is the way. They was getting to me, Steve. You know they were. V-cut is the way. Shout out to Cigar Head Fred. Very light draw on this one. Not much taste on the cold draw, but on the very end, I get a little bit of almond, a little bit of cherry almond kind of thing going on. It is very slight, and it's right as I'm finishing sucking and I'm, uh, I'm letting go of the cigar, I kind of taste that. So I'm gonna call it, that, what I call is like a, almond kind of has a sweet cherry flavor to me, but it's almond. All right, family. We're gonna light this thing up. We're gonna do what we do. It's another great day. It's been a beautiful day. It's raining right now. I went down today, checked on my truck. I ain't, I ain't crunk it up in like three weeks. I went over there. I said, come on, Nefertiti, what you gonna do? Tell me what you gonna do. She said, all right, daddy, I got you. <laughs> yeah, boy. She did what she was supposed to do. Anyway, we want to take you higher. We want to take you higher, baby. We're going to take you higher. We're going to get on out of here and crank this thing up. Brother Dexter. Brother Dexter. Here we go, baby. Here we go. 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 Let's go, y'all. Now these cigars are interesting because it's something that Steve used to do on his own personal time. Take a little, take a little bit of that pipe tobacco and sprinkle it in with uh, some cigars and make it do what it do. What's the price on these? $15.30 MSRP. That cherry that I'm getting, I, I, I maybe it's the pipe tobacco, but it's still right on the end, even on the puff. This one's light drawn. Right on the end of it, that 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 almond gives you a touch of sweetness. Now I'm gonna tell you the problem that I've had, I believe, with some of the other Stillwell stars is that. There's some pipe tobacco that you really can't smoke fast. You can't hot box it, it tends to give you a bite. And I think that became my problem with this cigar. So I know in this one, I'm gonna slow it down and try to see if I can get a better experience. So we're gonna see. Let me go find something to drink, change my battery. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna pair this up with a little Brugal. 
Double Reserva, Brugal, Double Reserva. Shout out to all my Dominican brothers and sisters. Shout out to y'all. Y'all treated me well in your country. I appreciate the hospitality. Gracias, mi amigos. I had a good time. Y'all definitely did, did a brother right. So we're gonna have a little bit of, uh, we're gonna have a little bit of rum and a little bit of This one definitely has a very nice, and it's got a very nice cherry vanilla finish at the end. It started picking up, I thought, a little bit of Nicaraguan pepper to it, but I don't think so. Now I'm really gonna slow down with this one. I'm really gonna slow down with it and take a nice time with it. Take, a, my, take my time with it. Take your time. Take your time, take your time. Come on, baby, take your time. You can do it tonight. It's from the 80s, baby. Baby, you can do it, take your time, do it right. We can do it, baby. Do it tonight. I talked to my high school girlfriend the other night girl that I went to the prom with, I said, you know, I had some time to kill. I said, let me give you a call, see how you's doing. And uh, I said, you know, I heard a song on the radio. It reminded me of one of those proms that we went to. I heard an Evelyn Champagne King song. She was like, yeah, Shame was always my favorite. I said, that was the song I heard. Evelyn Champagne King. Oh, it was a good time. We had a good time at the prom. We had a very good time. So let me see. I got to, I'm writing my notes. Um. This is the Stillwell Star Limited Edition 2022. It's the Y 2022. That's nice. I like I said, Steve talked about the Cavendish process, which was steaming that pipe tobacco with the rum. And I don't know if I'm picking up, when I say, I keep saying the cherry vanilla almond is what it reminds me of. It could be some, some of the flavors from the rum. It could be some of the front flavors from the casings and or toppings of the pipe tobacco. Little bit of bite to the back of my throat there, but nice. Shout out to my brother Cowboy Ism. Cowboyism. Shout out to you, brother Cowboy. Hey, Cowboy, some people don't like what you do because they just don't like who you are and what you represent. One thing I love about my brother is he just said, I'm going to be who I am. And that's Cowboy. So shout out to you. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters out at Montrez. That's his home lounge. Shout out to my brother Aaron Brooks. Shout out to Lee Hill. I ain't talked to Lee Hill in a minute. Shout out to you. Shout out to everybody in the family. See, family, we got to learn how to accept good people for who they are, no matter what they look like, no matter where they come from, whatever the case. I got some cool... Cool as a fan, brothers and sisters. I mean, when it comes to some of them, I, like my brother Ock, it don't come no, no better. When you talk about somebody that's down with you, like four flat tires that know what's going on in the hood, is ready to rumble if you need to rumble, that's my brother Ock. You don't have no questions. Then you got some other cool brothers that's down with you just like that. They don't look like you. They don't like that at all. Now, Alex Brandon, he ain't gonna rumble, but he down with me. My brother Jason Ricci. He may or may not rumble, but he knows some folks that can do it for you. <laughs> Shout out to you, Jason. Shout out to all my pink brothers and sisters that rock with me. I love y'all. I really do. 
Shout out to my cousin Tiffany. What's up, Tiff? But really, shout out to everybody, right? Our channel was recently demonetized, it's okay. But does that mean that we stop doing what we do? Absolutely not. We continue to do what we do because we love what we do. I didn't start this channel to make money. I started this channel because I was having fun. Because I had an opinion and I wanted to share it with somebody else. I didn't know if anybody else was going to listen or not or care. Turns out that a whole lot of people listened and a whole lot of people cared. A whole lot of people didn't, but so what? You don't like it, so what? I don't care. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, family. Very smooth, mild, mild cigar. I'm gonna say medium to medium plus flavors. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna say. We're gonna see if the flavor kicks up a little bit. Great flavor, I mean, great smoke output. That retro brought out a little bit of cashew or some kind of nut. A little bit of spice. And I believe that's that, that spice I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the spice is the bite that I get from the, the, the pipe tobacco. But right now it's working as a very good condiment along with that sweet cherry almond finish. But I'm gonna slow down again because I want to smoke this a little bit too fast. So we're gonna slow down, we'll be back. Oh, and then, and again, thanks again to uh, Steve Saka, Dumbarton Tobacco and Trust, Steve Saka, Cindy Saka, my brother, that Dave Lafferty. What's going on, Dave? Uh, the people that support me and, and you know, uh, support my right to do what it is that I do and, you know, kind of represent their company, but if the people come with the legal papers and say, Lee Mac 912 is a representative of your company, they'll be like, oh, hell no, he's an independent contractor. <laughs> he don't represent us at all, but a shout out, shout out with y'all, shout out to y'all because y'all are definitely supporters of me and my channel, so thank you very much. We'll be back. All right, now, we are enjoying the cigar, we being me and myself and I, me, myself and I, we enjoying the cigar. Uh, one thing that I heard Steve talk about was some kind of a wonky burn on these cigars. And he said sometimes you'll get a little bit of a wonky burn. So I got a little bit of a wonky burn here. I'm going to do a little touch up and straighten that up a little bit. But I am quite enjoying the cigar. I kind of feel like it's, I want to say the cigar is mild, but the finish is like medium. So the back of my tongue still has a nice peppery to it. It's kind of a crisp finish. Great flavor. The flavor is nice. I, I All the way through, I'm getting that, still what I'm going to call that cherry almond flavor. No off flavors. No, no... I'm not gonna say no real bitterness or bite that's bad. I feel like I've got a little, little bit of a bite, which is probably a spice. I'm calling it a bite, but it feels like it's a condiment. It's added to it. Very, very nice. All right, I'm gonna sit on back. I'm gonna watch some of these people get locked up here on YouTube. I'll be back. All right, all right, all right, family. I'm still smoking the Stillwell Star, the holiday edition, limited edition Y22. I just heard a guy say something that I had to repeat it, and I'm still in this one. He said, he said, you forget about all the bad stuff when you have little moments of good stuff. And that's what you gotta just focus on in life is the good stuff. Last week I was dealing with some stuff. I, I was going through months of some stuff that was turned out to be something that wasn't bad. It, it wasn't good and it was upsetting to me. But then I turned it all around and thanks to my pa patrons, I'm able to do something else instead of what I was going to do. I'll talk about that later, maybe. So it's a little moment of goodness, so I forget about all of the bad stuff. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta learn how to focus on the good stuff. I like this cigar. It pairs, pairs very well with the rum. The rum is very nice. Like I said, I brought that back from the Dominican Republic with me. Um, just another great day, man. 
You know, I've been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with my truck and my trailer. And I've been tossing around the idea of, of, of getting rid of it. You know, I even talked to a guy, and he says, well, how much you want for it? I said, I don't know. Let me think about it. Because most things in life you have that you don't want to get rid of, there is a price that you'll sell it for, but usually it's probably more than what it's worth. That means I don't really want to get rid of it. So when I went down today, through all of the struggles that I've had, all through all of the times of pulling out dead batteries and trying to figure out how to get the cutoff switch in and doing that wrong and the, the, the $14,000 breakdown and the times like now where I'm not able to find work the way that I want to find work. Do all of that bad stuff. I went down today and I crunk her up, checked the oil. She was a little low on oil, put some oil in. But the good stuff, hey, the good stuff was I got a couple of gallons of oil in my box so I didn't have to go anywhere. When I hit the battery and hit the, the key and crunk her up, she ran very, very nicely. I mean, she sounded good. She sounded good to me, put it like that. She sounded good. I went to move her out of the space. None of the brakes were stuck. All the tires are still aired up. And I realized one thing. I realized, you know what? I love this shit. This is what I love to do. This is why I worked all of the years that I worked. This is why I put up with all of the stuff in the office at the job to be able to save up to try to make this a reality. This is something that I love. So I ain't willing to give up just quite yet or just quite so easily. It's hard right now. I'm working hard to maintain what it is that I have, but I've gotten to a point where I just don't want to give up just yet because I love this shit. When I was a kid, my dad, every, he had a couple of different trucks. We never really had anything real fancy and he'd drive a lot of other people's trucks. And one of the highlights of the day would always be when dad would pull down the street with the truck and I would hear him pull up in front of the house. I'd go running out to the, to the truck and, and he would hand me his lunch bucket and his, uh, he had a big water thing, <coughs> big Coleman water jug. I actually found one out of the yard sale and I bought it because it reminds me of my dad. And that was my job, get his stuff out the truck when he came home. And I always wanted to go with him. I couldn't always go. But the times that I could go, man, I was so excited. I would be so excited that he said, we're leaving at two o'clock in the morning. So for a kid to get up at two o'clock in the morning, I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss my ride. So I would get fully dressed and get in the bed fully dressed. So when he came and say, time to roll over, my dad would say, all right, roll over, Beethoven. When he said that, I'd roll over. He didn't have to wait for me to get dressed because all I had to do was brush my teeth and go. And he would tell me, he'd say, oh, I see you went to bed ready riding last night. You ready to ride. Those little things and those experiences were things that shaped me into who I am. Now, was it all good? No, like I said, we had raggedy ass trucks. We had trucks, I'd sit there and I'd be sitting in that old cab over and looking down at the front tire going around. My dad never stopped, we never went to truck stops. So, well, dad, I gotta pee. Pee through the hole. Shit like that is what you remember. We eating, you know, uh, Vienna sausage and crackers and potted meat and drinking water, but I was with my dad. So for me, it was exciting. My dad was not the best dad in the world. I told you he was an alcoholic. These days you would say, hey, a dude that's going down the road drinking and driving a truck with a kid, maybe it's not something that's very safe, but that was my childhood. That's the way it was. That's what I knew. That's what was normal for me. My job would always be, we, and we didn't have a radio in the truck. So it was just miles and miles and miles of endless watching the scenery go by and listening to the truck. We'd go through the night and I would just be wondering if my dad was asleep or not. Sometimes I think he was asleep at the wheel. Now, dad, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. 
It's those memories that you have that you remember. That's the good stuff. You remember the good stuff. It remember the goodness. You forget the bad stuff when you remember the good stuff. So I had a lot of good times with my father. I had some bad times with my father. But I still remember that. So the things that I remember now is that would I give just about anything? One more day. So I could say, Dad, look at what I did. I made it. But, that's life. I don't get that chance, but some of y'all are lucky you still have your parents around. You need to treasure them. I mean, no matter how good or bad of parents they are, you need to treasure your folks. My grandmother told me something when I was a little kid and I didn't know it didn't make sense to me and she was talking about her mother, my great grandmother, who I did I knew but didn't know very well because she lived in South Carolina, but you know, and that those days the old folks didn't really mess with kids too much. So when she would come and visit, it was not like, you know, real loving and whatever. But my grandmother told me, she said, you know, you're gonna miss these old folks when they go gone. And I miss my grandmother, something terrible. So every once in a while I go up and I go see my mom and I know when I go see my mom I usually put my toolbox in the car because she'll have a list of things that she wants me to do. I went up yesterday to go see my mom. She said, I don't have a list but let's start in the front yard and we'll walk through the house and go to the back. I got something in every room that I need you to take care of. And I did. When we got finished all of the things or whatever, she said, well I don't want to work you too hard. You can do the weed whacking when you come back next time. I said, Ma, I ain't doing nothing. Let's let's get the weed whacker. We'll do the weed whacking now. That way you don't have to worry about it. Was it a long ride up there and back? Yes. Do I treasure the opportunity to be able to go, go do something for my mother? Yes. And when I go there, I talk about the TV I bought her for Christmas. Maybe this past Christmas. And she said, Leander, I'm really still enjoying my TV. She really loves that television. So you got to treasure, folks, family. Especially the people that are good to you. Your family is your family. We don't get to pick our family. They are who they are. They are not perfect. Neither are you. Uh, suffice it to say, neither are you. None of us are. So, anyway. All right, family. I get emotional every once in a while. I talk about some things, but it is what it is. I'm going to come back and give you my numbers. We're going to get on out of here. All right, family. All right, all right. Coming back to the end of this Stillwell Star. Uh, MSRP, $15.30. I've seen them for around $13. I'm gonna say it's a good cigar for $13, limited edition. I don't know how many are gonna be coming out in the July batch, but it's a small batch, but you need to try it if you can. Stillwell Star is an interesting line of tobaccos from the aromatics to the navy to the bayou. There's another one, I forget the other one, and it's a limited edition holiday blend. It's a mix of pipe tobacco along with regular cigar tobacco, and the blends were made to highlight the pipe tobacco so they're all different they're all interesting uh, definitely worth a try Steve knows it's an experiment that may be a good experiment or a failed experiment if you're a pipe smoker you're not necessarily going to say it's the greatest cigar I smoked if you're a cigar smoker it's not going to be the greatest cigar you smoked either but I guarantee you one of the line might be something that you like so it's definitely worth the 
the chance and the try. So anyway, let me give you my numbers on this price. 3.4, construction of five, flavor three and a half, overall smoking experience three and a half, or 3.7 out of five on the Lee Mac 912 scale, a good cigar. All right, family, I'm gonna tell you this, like I tell you every single day, when you wake up in the morning, you gotta tell yourself, today is gonna be another great day because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and the lie, so you might as well tell us something good. I did that this morning. I did it every morning. I do it every morning for the past 16 years, family. I do, I do. And the person that made me have to start saying that, I talked to the other day. Somebody that I almost hated at one point. I think I probably did hate her. She has now been forgiven in my mind and things go on. So you gotta learn to forgive people and you gotta learn not to hold on to the past. It's hard, it's not easy to do, but let me tell you, once you do, it's very freeing and very uh, opening. Uh, listen, there are some good times that she missed out on because of silliness. Well, that's her issue, not mine. Anyway, I'm gonna get on out of here, family. Hey, the weather outside is frightful. It's still delightful, family. So let it snow, let it rain, let it do what it do. Whatever it does outside, don't let that put a damper on your spirits or your life. You open up an umbrella, put on a snow coat and gloves. Do whatever it is that you got to do and keep doing what you got to do and be you, be yourself, be the best you that you can be. And we will see you all again next week. Peace.